you you got me by ten. I, I don't think he was making babies yet. <laughs> he might have been. He got problems. Hey, hey, so I'm, th- I'm thirty two. No, this is the way every show starts out because there's like no countdown, no nothing. You ain't doing your job. Count me down. We're live already. Well, we're not live. We're hey, live on Spreaker. We're on hey, YouTube. That's the best way to do it. Hell, drop that shit. That makes it organic. Oh, organic as shit. About organic. All about organic. Right. right. Well, shit, you ain't seen the last interview I did with Native, but uh, I'm well, just I, did, I did see it. I saw that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Living dead girls next to me. Gringo's out saving the world. Make sure people don't ba- trash can drivers don't back up into your uh, cars. Not all heroes wear capes. But we got Cypher Tank Records. Two of these guys I've had I've interviewed before. One I have, and I've had Native King on. I've had D. Yeah. Dog, but I've not had Save Matic. Am I saying it right, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sazmatic, yep. Sazmatic, all right. There we go. I always mess something up. You know, it's just bound to happen. I want to thank the sponsors first. I got to thank my sponsors, Native Mail. Ah. Hell yeah. All love. You have the greatest mail in the world. I was going to bring a spoon in and eat a big old gob, but uh, Living Dead Girl would have died right now. Shit, thrown up on me. (laughs) You just, that's not healthy for you, man. Shit, hey, you know, know, <laughs> this man puts up with me like mayo jokes. <laughs> yeah, he really miracle whipping shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> with okay, so anyways. So I'm sure new fans, new people will check everything out. So we'll, we'll get back to start the business. There was a year or so ago. Cypher Tank Records was active and wasn't. And then there was a comeback to it. Who was on Cypher Tank originally that's still on now? Nobody. That would be you and Save Matic, right? Uh, native. Nobody. Native. Native, was the only, native was the last man standing okay. from the original roster. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I, didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. So then DJ Rob Dog. Yeah. And Sad Matic joined up with you now. Now it's just you two, you three, actually. Or you yeah. four. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, I mean no. we added a female. We just added a female to the roster, but we are the new Run DMC. Yeah. <laughs> 2020, Run DMC. The Colorado right. Run DMC. I could dig it. Uh, Alan. That's what's yeah. up, though. <laughs> that is what's up. And I noticed, like, your newest person, um, she was just on, a, I think, did a track with uh, the homeboy uh, Nasty Inc. I think I saw she was yeah. on one of his tracks. That's the first yeah, I heard her. I didn't really know who it was. And you guys, I know, oh, that's pretty dope. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, that nothing gets by us. <laughs> she's, she's talented, bro. And uh, we have been looking, I have been looking to sign a female for, for a long time, bro. So just it was really know. actually... It was it was definitely kind of big for us to sign a female, bro, because it, it just it tends to come with drama and shit, man. And thankfully, Tina's not about all that extra shit. So I mean, I, not even just a female, but a dope female. You feel me? Yeah, saying? no, there's she's a, tight. There's a whole bunch of females, but it's like I care about the scale. I don't give a fuck about nothing else after that. Everything outside of that is extra shit. Where them bars at? Facts. So so let's track back to um. Bringing these two guys on and bringing Stafford Tank Records back. You want to talk about that, Native? Yeah. Um, you know, when, like, I was with Dog Tag for a minute. Um, and when everything kind of fell out between us, um, I had the option to either do Native Kings Productions, which was the first record label that I had, you know, had done for about five years. I let that go to join Dog Tag Records. And then, uh, when everything fell out that way was when I decided to bring Cypher Tank Records back for the, or not back, but like to start Cypher Tank Records. Um, then uh, we had a there, there was a lot of drama and extra shit that went on, and we ended up I ended up shutting it down and kind of going solo for probably like six months. And then uh, I actually I was working with Savmatic at the time at this metal shop, and. Uh, you know, we were homies for probably a few months before we ever even really knew that we rapped, you know, like before we really even got to that. And then uh, we were freestyling every day and just kind of, you know, doing whatever, man. And um, we we ended up, ended, I ended up talking to Sav and he was kind of doing his own thing with Blackheart Music. 
and uh, he was willing to kind of, I wouldn't say sideline Blackheart, but like definitely get down with Cypher Tank and be a part of the team while he still continues to, you know, do his own thing. You know what right. I mean? Which, which, you know, I respect because at the end of the day, bro, like, you know, Sav's, he's a businessman. He knows what he's doing. So, you know, for him to do his own thing underneath is dope. Um, and then uh, Rob Dog, we were doing open mics uh, at this place called All Up Menya. It was a freaking, it was a noodle shop. Almost um, exactly a year ago, just a little over a year ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because you've been on the label for a year. Yeah. Over a year yeah. now. You know what I mean? So, anyways, we ended up, uh, we needed <laughs> to DJ. We needed to DJ, and uh, me and Rob Dog had been had been kind of going back and forth on social media and everything, and he agreed to come out, and uh, we just clicked really well, man. It was it was um, it, like immediate, you know what I mean? Like by the end of the night, like we was we was cool and shit, you know. So after that, it kind of continued, and then I, you know, I kind of started seeing what it was that Rob Dog did behind DJing, you know what I mean? When it comes to the merchandise and it comes to you know, making beats and, and doing video work and doing, you know what I mean, sports entertainment and doing just all the different things that he was doing at the time. And uh, that really made me want to work with him on a higher level. You know what I mean? I, I really was like, I want this dude on my team. Like he grinds hard as shit and he makes me want to step my game up. Same with Sav, you know, so <clears throat> and Tina B, man, she's she's the same, man. She's 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 just the the drive is there. The work ethic is there. You know what I mean? Like I hit her up and was like, yo. Uh, I got a show coming up. I want you to come out. She came and rocked the show with me on less than 24 hour notice. You know what I mean? Like uh, turned around and dropped a new song, like less than probably two weeks of being signed. You know what I mean? Like she's just been on top of her shit, even with everything she's had going on. So, you know, right now I'm, I'm ecstatic with the, the label itself. You know, I felt like uh, we've cut off all the bad limbs, man. And everything, everything just seems solid to me right now, man. I'm, I'm really content with how, how the team's looking. Right, and I was going to talk more about some other things, but you guys are something I noticed about you guys are you're about progression moving forward. So we can, we yeah. you know, like you said, the uh, roster got a little one shorter, or whatever, and some issues, whatever. But we move on past that because that's what you guys I see from you guys is you're always moving forward. Am I you think I'm correct with that? Absolutely. Anybody can answer. Yeah, most definitely. Nothing right? can stop us. That's the tank does. It keeps going. Thanks. And you think this time around you got more of people that on all the different levels of like music, things that relate media and stuff, you have like the whole unit now, the team, you know what I mean? Where everything clicks. Yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely um, the squad is definitely one moving machine. Like everybody has their own specific goals or their specific duty and job that Absolutely. makes the whole team look good, you know, because everybody does what they do well. And so that we, the fact that we can all come together and make the big picture work, you know, and support each other, not just focus on one person, but everybody as a collective, you know exactly. what I mean? That's what, that's what brings us together. We all support each other at, at, at the highs and the lows. Like we've had artists who had, you know, personal life getting, getting in the way of getting music done sometimes, but we understand, you know, shit gets, life happens sometimes, but you know, it's right. about, it's all about you know sticking together through those through those tough times and rising above it because it's it's only a delay, not a denial. So you know, uh, with that being said, every artist that we have, you know, everybody's different. No, no two minds are alike on this label. Like everybody's unique in their own way. Everybody's different, and it just it just comes together and works like so well. Like you know, everybody is, you know, it's like we all feed off of each other. You know, we all uh, we all inspire each other. We all motivate each other you know what i'm saying we push each other to be better so. absolutely i mean I, i'd have to agree and and i know speaking personally from my perspective um you know Na native kind of mentioned you know our history goes back a little bit over a year um but really what what i i the reason why i you know i had no problem you know joining forces and and working with native and staff, but native and specific in the beginning was because you're talking about somebody who um you know you to have an organic connection with immediately um you know and i could see the the how genuine you know he was and how passionate he was about you know multiple things and honestly it just sort of grew from there like you said and, and for me that was one of the biggest parts um 
you know, at wanting to be a part of the team or, you know, accepting that position is because, like Sav also said, we all have our own different parts. We all play, you know, we have our different thoughts and minds and things. And so, you know, I think at the end of the day, our creative differences and creative, uh, you know, similarities are ultimately what makes this this whole entire group of four, you know, uh, yeah. it, it makes us as strong as we are, you know, and, and, and real quick, I have really had a chance to really say that Tina is phenomenal. She is very talented. Um, and I'm excited to, you know, to what she brings to uh, the label as, as a whole, just because you got two very good male artists and she, she brings that female contrast uh, to the label and kind of that other perspective, as well as giving you a, a different sound to go with it. So, you know, all in all, man, I, it, it's, it's really exciting to see when uh, you know, we talk about progression and moving forward. It's really exciting to see the progression that we've had in just the, the court. There was some crazy noise at the end, but I got what you were saying. <laughs> I, I, I did hear, I did hear uh, that song that she did, covered, the uh, Carl Withers song, I think, uh, Ain't No Sunshine. Oh, yeah. man, I killed that. Yeah, that, that was pretty dope. And like I said, the other track I heard her on was dope. Uh, yeah, absolutely. What's, what's up, guys? Living Dead Girl's got a question. Hey, what up? Tell us about yeah. your best friend. It's all right. All right, so if you know, if you must know about my best friend, we must. Uh, my best friend is a little kid, man. Those little, little young ass, lovable kid, man. I love him to death. Um, he was really salty with me. He watched my interview on uh, Inside the Empire the other day and was really salty that I didn't shout him at, shout him out. You know what I mean? He was really salty. He wasn't in the interview, man, and, and wasn't asked about. So, uh, you know, shout out to my best friend. I love you to death. Um, you made the interview, man. You're already big. You're a superstar. That's, that's what's up. That's 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 dope, dude. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Then much love to your best friend there. Hey. So uh, I was going to run when I wrote that down. I wrote BF, and I'm old, <laughs> right? But I kind of figured out like, oh shit, because she knows how our other interviews have gone. And she was, I figured, fuck you. She's gonna ask you. So tell us about your boyfriend. So I'm so oh, he's glad. Amazing. I wrote, he's amazing. I'm so, no, I'm <laughs> so right. No, I'm so glad I wrote out best friend though. Because like, I'm old, dude. I didn't, I, you know. I was like, <laughs> Native, are you coming out to us all all on this national interview? No, nah, man, not at all. Dog. I I I, told, I said I wouldn't tell if you didn't tell. That's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for a later it's, show. Yeah. It is okay. I mean, in some that's small the late night. That's a different couch interview. Right? <laughs> that's, that's that's another got another story, another time. But, uh, <laughs> so did you know about this, Semantic? Did you know about this between these two? I had no idea. I'm 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 learning just like you are. So can, can, mm -hmm. I, can I give a little bit of kind of like funny backstory real quick with Savmatic and, and myself? Oh, yeah. No. So yeah. My personal self, I've been in, in the game doing what I do for about three years now, going on four. Um, and coming up, one of the very first artists that I had ever heard of was this young female artist by the name of Jamie Moe. And in fact, uh, I had actually just put out a, a single with her. You can catch it on YouTube, shameless plug. Um, but <laughs> I, I had no idea that flash forward you know to a couple of years later down the road that i would be working with this guy named savmatic will come to find out that jamie mo and savmatic are siblings so i feel mm -hmm. like in sort of way i was bound to you know i was bound to work with them both uh and i was bound to be you know in connection with them so you know that that's why i i, I further am kind of like you know what this is where we need to be, you know what I mean? So I just I just thought I'd throw that in there since we're talking about yeah. that. I love I love the uh change of conversation right there, bro. That was smooth. I was hey, that was, that smooth. was smooth, bro. 
<laughs> Just to clarify, <laughs> none of us are gay. Just want to throw yeah, that out there. Okay. I'm happy to <laughs> we're talking that kind of gay. Right. <laughs> I. Well, but given this interview, I knew it was coming. I just was like, let me just let that. Yeah. Well, dude, <laughs> let, me let, y'all, let me let y'all get that out your system real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> if you heard the first, you, you said you watched that first uh, uh, interview I did with him. Yeah, yeah I seen the first. Yeah, seat on there. That, I know, that that's, why I, that's why I say I, I had my seatbelt. I buckled up. I was prepared. I was, I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for that one. Because native, because native, if I remember right, was a member of the Butt Naked Bandit, a yeah. little bully gang, was like five year olds or something. Used to go around and uh, bully people. Was well, that what it was? Man, I could have swore I was on an island in a box. You put uh, me in a box. I remember he put uh, me in a box and shipped me to an island in the last interview. That's oh, it, hey, that's, that shit was funny. Hey, if Rob Dog and Sav go missing, man, I'm checking postal. <laughs> okay, I work for FedEx. I'm gonna find y'all. Don't trip. <laughs> Shit. If I'm missing, check Starbucks or Wells Fargo Bank. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not gonna come find you, Sam. I'm just letting you know. We just gonna have to let the I'm tank move on. Places. I'm gonna be where I'm at. <laughs> I'm at where I'm gonna be. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I know. I'm gonna be here every Wednesday and Saturday doing this. Okay. Yes, that's what's up. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a God, that's a goal right there. You got something you have to do. You need to do. It's a job. Right. It's an importance. Somebody's waiting for it, expecting it. Somebody's looking out for it. Like, it's yeah. people that ain't doing nothing every twice a week. Just <laughs> every day of the week, just doing a bit. If you don't move, bitch, watch out. He <laughs> said, watch out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These, so the, the two days, they're like, it's part of what keeps me sane. I got to say, because I get to sit here and we simulate actually hanging out on a couch, talking shit. You know, we do, you know, push your music. We do everything else. But it's more like kind of an insight for a fan because originally I'm a fan. So it's an insight into what you guys are, are doing. You're, you know, normal people, shit people don't see, you know, with, you know, any artist really, you know, because they have this preconceived idea and shit. I take the preconceived idea and I put it in a little box and I fucking take a big shit on it and flush it. Like, right. you, know, you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. Uh, well, I like to approach it. This is good. This is good. <laughs> and you guys dog each other out a lot. I see that. I'm, I'm lucky hey, I get to jump in there and throw some out, you, though. You definitely have to have thick skin with this squad. I'm telling you, I will. I make yeah. you hate life, like <laughs> facts, like fast, like people get. We bully each other, day, but it's like, cool. It's all love. Listen, you you got it. You got to know jumping in immediately that everything said, no matter you know. And of course, we don't. We have we have sense. You know, we ain't gonna say something stupid to each other, but. You, the the the, the playful insults and things that we you know the shit talking that we do, it comes from a place where you know we 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 mean well. It's kind of, it's kind of that that playful brotherly love kind of shit. So you know it, it's it's, but you gotta you yeah. gotta be prepared for it though. You gotta be ready because of, prepare for I mean, it as you want. I'm wearing a beanie I mean, right we, now. I knew it we was critique coming. each other though at the same time. I mean it's it's also a good thing because you know we do. We do critique each other a lot in, 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 in all seriousness. Like, we pull each other to the side and we'll check each other. Like, when you fucking up, we'll pull each other to the side. Oh, you tripping, bro. You know, we'll give each other advice on shit. Like, all that, you know, it's, it's more than just a business. It's a family with us. So, you know, it's like we all we got. So, at the end of the day, like, I might I might bitch and talk shit. I might I might cuss you at the end of the day. But, but at the end of the day, like, I, they still my brothers. Like, I, I do anything I can for my brothers. Like, I still write for them at the end of the day. You know, so it's, I might, I might get on their helmet. It's like, see, I love y'all. I'll fuck you up, but I love y'all. Y'all my brothers at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Hey, no. That's just Yo, how we uh, are, though. G- Gonzo, ask ask Native what he's got up under that beanie, though. Right. I want to <laughs> see what's up there. That's it's why a I whole, started- it's a whole mop up there. It's a whole mop, bro. <laughs> it's a whole mop up there. <laughs> it's a whole mop. You can't feed my hair after midnight. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Hey. 
Hey, hey you, you, can, you can ask anybody I've been affiliated with. I've been running around like a wolf man for two months. I got my hair did for this motherfucking interview. I'm getting all the way with <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been rough. Oh my, I've been on my grind, looking rough. I think I went on my vacation. I was like, I, I finally shaved before I went on vacation. I got myself together, but I was like, shit, I've been around like a wild man too if it wasn't for this interview. Huh? That 2020 hair. Hey, I only started giving him shit on the hair. Cause when you got banned on your page and you had to go to your real name, and I yep. was like, "Damn, that is the whitest fucking name ever." And I started mailing him, and I saw the hair, and I was like, "Holy <laughs> fuck, you got one of these miracle whip, these miracle." You know whip. what? We just kind of gonna rock it. <laughs> there you go. We gonna take it out. Whoa, hey, 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 real quick, hey, real quick. Somebody grab Rob Dog. He follows. <laughs> I know. I'm, no, I, I ain't, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna skip over that. Hey man, they <laughs> love it. No, another time, another time. Get lost in that forest. It's a whole championship. Hey, hey, you know what? I ran a brush through this shit for the interview. Did it get stuck? I ran a brush through. Yeah. Where's <laughs> you know, you know, you know, hey, you know who you look like? You look like the the mama, forty years younger, the mama from the Goonies and shit. You know what I mean? The one with the two dudes, but like when she was like 15. I'm tired of your shit. I got a brother-in-law. Same hair as yours, bro. Same hair. I always give him shit, too. It's all love. Huh. Yeah. Funny. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, he's mad at you. Know, I think that's 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 cool. The whole crow's neck. Show you right. I'm trying to catch a bird, bro. Uh, I'm trying to catch a bird. You don't put that beanie back on. Your <laughs> I said, right. I said, you might want to make check for eggs under that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> hey, don't you remember that? Bro? It's never ending. Never ending. Never, bro. I love it. See, her brother has hair just like that, though. This is worse. Oh, how, how, how old is her brother? Huh? You said her brother has hair like that? How old is her brother? Uh, in his 20s. Like 24, I think. Me too. But he ain't as cool as me, I promise you. See, that's a, it's a 90s baby thing. It has to be. It's like, I'm... <laughs> I did hair do on the 90s. I did this shit. Hey, hey, that explains the living dead girls. <laughs> You're 85. 85 years old. So I was born in 85. I'm not a 90s baby. I knocked the dust off you. I'm not at okay. I'm not the dust off you, though. Know. <laughs> Damn. Hey, you've actually seen my show before and still wanted to come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. It gets bad. Like, Native's mad. I really think Native's going to punch me. I'm not Do mad, boy. I love you. Hey, I let her punch. Oh, fuck. Hey, she does hit hard, too. He didn't see it, though. Hey, do, you, do I need to do it again so you can see? All I've seen on this video is Rob Dog. I'm having a personal conversation with him right now. Like, I don't even see Sav. I don't see you. Oh, well, I punched him for you. There's oh. something wrong with Sav's phone. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that when I watch this. I see all yeah. four, y'all. It's like it's all three, y'all. Like like I'm watch. not going to see it here, and then when I watch it on YouTube, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, I hope so, because you are blurry. And I didn't realize Rob Dog's blurry. I still only see his chin. That's one hot chin there, buddy. It looks like my left nut a little right. bit, because I always just leave that little bit of hair on the bottom. <laughs> like, uh, Rob Dog, Rob Dog <laughs> looks like, he looks like what, like Asian Asian porn when they like blur your face out and your box. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Asian porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. my. Is that everything that brush your face? He just mad because he can't see through that hair. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little in the way. That's why I got the beanie on. I, I planned for this. Yeah, he pulled the mop back. That's not, the, that's not the blur line. That ain't the blur line, native. That's just your hair in your eyes. Tuck in the broom. Oh shit. Native's the only one I've ever seen perform. You said Native's the only one you've ever seen perform? Yeah. When, when did that you see him perform? That, that, was, that would be accurate. No, no, no. 
No, I, I mean, so, as far as at, me, um, it was at a spot, I think, in Pueblo. WTR was hosting. I'm sorry. No, what's the Roxy? They were hosting. Um, and, oh, fuck, it's that one place that don't charge and shit. It's the fucking. I'm sorry. Um, you in Pueblo, though. You said Pueblo. I've only done one show in Pueblo. That was with uh, Eilish at like a glass okay, shop. No, no, no. This would have been in Colorado Springs. Then. Colorado Springs. Okay. It was with, with WTR. Yeah. But, okay, here, this is how I can tell you what happened. But it's probably happened before, too. You had um, a freestyle. Yeah, like over the same yeah. beat. You can have like six, seven different songs and shit. It sounds like something that could have happened. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it happened because I cut on and I was like, this motherfucker is pretty fucking dope. It's not don't very often him. I have to freestyle, but... Don't gas him up like that. He's like, don't gas him up like that. The more you gas yeah. me up, the more beats Rob no, Dogg yeah. has to me. Oh, like, soft <laughs> <that's> <laughs> like, he took advantage of the situation and fucking rocked that shit. Yeah, Because it was did. bullshit. That place sucked ass. What the fuck did he have? up? Uh, hey, native, you gotta, native, hey, you gotta get what you can get sometimes. Shit. Yeah, native can put it. He can put it down on the spot like that. So, yeah, I'll be trying. Yeah, I'll be man. trying. There's, there's not too many who can do that. I mean, and, and hold it for a long time. I've embarrassed a lot of artists. Trust me. There's not. There's not many who can who can do that on a fly like that. Nope. Shit. Sad, I know. I, not me. I'm like Sav. Definitely can. That cat, me and him will go beat for beat all day. It's just ridiculous. You guys, <laughs> you guys actually have a little mini group between the two of you too, right? Yeah, yeah. Denverago. Okay. Where'd the net na- where'd that name come from? That's what I'd wanted to ask. Oh man. That is, what Sav, how long Funny did it take to come up with that name? <laughs> it took for it, it took a minute actually a to minute. come up with it. A minute. Uh, but, bro. but actually it was it was crazy how we actually decided on it because it was like, you know, we actually learned that we had a lot of things in common outside of music, like in like in yeah. life in general. Like as far as like everything, like from how our personal lives was to like little shit like our Zodiac signs being in, uh, being in contrast with each other. Like me being a Gemini, him being a Virgo, us being ruled by the planet Mercury. Like that was something we had in common that we kind of ran with that and it was like you know the whole yeah like the whole being the whole being a double-headed dragon thing like we kind of fed into that and it was like uh another name for dragon is virago virago is an is 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 a rough translation for dragon and i just felt it was you know us being from denver it kind of just flowed together a denverago denver dragons just kind of you know what i mean it kind of just came together that way like and it's yeah. crazy. It took so long for us to actually come up with a name that when we actually got the borrow and it kind of just came together like pop like that, like it didn't even take much. Yeah. Right now, that's dope. And it's original. Like you're not gonna come across that. Yeah. Nah, we were we were gonna do Denveragos, but it sounded way too like a Mexican band, and <laughs> so um, we decided Denverago, man. We're, we're you know we're not we could have been two dragons, but instead we one dragon two heads. Right, and not a mariachi band. Not a mariachi band, but that'd be tight. We could, we could probably pull that off. <laughs> right. I now I challenge that. you to try. Yeah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Rob Dog, I need I a should. beat. <laughs> right. I'm not near the laptop right now. Come on, man. I'm not I'm in the studio. On. Shit, we in the we in the living room of my home. We ain't in the studio. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Speaking of which, I gotta put my laptop in. Give me one minute, my bad. Got any other topic now? It's a typical couch. What you got? What you got? What else do I got? What do you guys got coming up, though? What are you putting in action right now? Are you guys going to be able to do some more shows and shit? Like, how's Colorado with COVID? Um, it's, well, I, I, it I, sucks, I mean, I, actually. It's a lot of... A lot of I mean, they're small. There's like small little hole in the wall shits. They're like trying to open, but 
because it, they, they won't allow a big enough crowd, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to actually promote a show. It actually, it costs more to even promote and even open the club than it would even. Right. Oh, so shows, it, it, I don't know what he's talking about. But the only, you know, honestly, the only way that you're getting away, away with, um, you know, doing the show is if, if you're in a place who has the money to be able to throw something like that. A lot of these places are also, um, honestly, they're getting backed by, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight promoters in order to really pull it off. You know, yeah, what I mean? that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, as far as as far as doing a show, it's a lot harder now because. Absolutely. It's a lot, everything's stricter and like they want smaller crowds and you know what I'm saying? They don't want, you can't promote a big show because can't nobody come to it because they're going to shut it down. So it's right. like, there's there's really no shows to be had. If you do have a show, it would have to be like a private event or a closed event, like a, a invite only, RSVP type, you know what I'm saying? Like something like that, a disclosed location. But even and then, it, it'd be limited. Like, you know, it'd be limited yep. to what we actually can do, so. As just of right fun. now, the shows is delayed until, until in, at least until the state opens up more. Right. It really, well, it really just depends, though. Because I got, I got two shows. I got one lined up on the first, and then another one on the either the seventh or the eighth. And I just rocked the show just like a week ago. You know what I mean? Um, I think it just depends right. on the situation. The the show we were in. So, so what used to be the Royal Castle. Is now the jazz That's funk so connection. He's just, you got you got to remember he's way down south. <clears throat> what? No, the no, the, I, I, the spring. No, because he said he just rocked the show. I said, where'd you just rock a show? Uh, at the jazz funk connection. I had that's the Where one team came out to. It's out here Where in the spring. In the springs, not in like I'm in the middle of the town. I'm in Denver. Ain't no, ain't no. I'm not worried about the spring. We're talking about shows in Denver. Ain't nothing going on in Denver. Denver's closed the fuck down. You think I won't come down there and find a way to show a throw in Denver? You, you was tripping, Sav. I will make it happen. Now, as a matter of I fact, I didn't, say, I didn't say it was impossible. That's I my did next not goal. Say that. I'm coming that's and throwing a true. show in Denver. Mark they my said words. It's uncommon and it ain't really happening. <laughs> no, like, I ain't, know. A, like, ain't nobody throwing those shows right now. Like this, the only the the most popping show they just had was shut down before the date even came. Because how, yeah. how the city is. So yeah. Like, hey, so what's the largest that can gather? What's the largest that can gather? Like fifty people? Don't don't give me the line. We had a okay. the show I did the other night, bro. There was like probably close to like 60, 70 people there. Well, I, here's the point I want to make. It's time for the return for backyard parties because it's your own fucking house. You can have like fifty people at your house. The cost is fucking low. Go old school. Listen to the old guy here. Backyard fucking parties that brings a lot of shit together, but. You know, I've been, she could too, so. I've been personally preaching that concept for about three years. Facts. Rob I mean, be in his front yard for everybody. I mean, honestly, you know, and, and this is one of the ideas that I kind of had and it ended up spiraling into something larger was even something along the lines of like a block party where you where you just petition, you know, your entire neighborhood. You let them know, listen, we're going to be, you know. Uh, doing a party from such and such time, whatever, you know. And of course, it's got to be safe. You're gonna have to make sure that you abide by all the rules and all that. But if, if you're talking about a block party, uh, a, a lot of distance, you're talking a lot of room for people to be able to move around. So you're talking a little bit safer. But it gives people the opportunity to not only be a vendor. Say if you if you do like I do and you sell T-shirts, you know you can bring some T-shirts to sell. If you're an artist, you can come perform. You know what I mean? I, I say we do, you know, something like that. And I honestly have been preaching that idea for three years, way before COVID. So right. I think past time. Right. Okay. I'll be with that. And those, those were the fun days, too. At least, you know, back in, you know, California for me, like, was the backyard parties. Like, that, yeah. that was it right there. Yeah, man, that that was that was really the. And you're talking about a, a community event. A community mm -hmm. event is what you really need to not only build the community, but to connect with your community too. How right. can you, you know, claim to be, you know, known in your area or anything like that if you don't have any 
community outreach and do something like, something like that would be a great opportunity. Right. right. Oh, that's just what I do. Right. Now tell us how you really feel. Man. <laughs> <laughs> tell us <laughs> right what what else what else you guys got negative what else you got what, what you got coming up before i get into my shit okay um so like i said i got a show uh august 1st at jazz funk connection and then they're doing the outside um it's a pawn shop i think it's like ace loans or some shit like that they're doing a show uh, outside um, with vendors and everything, kind of like what Rob Dog was just talking about. Um, on the seventh or eighth, it's like from eleven a.m. to eleven at night, and they're, it's going all day. So it's kind of like a little festival that they're doing. Um, both of those are in the springs, basically right next to each other. The pawn shop sits right next to the Jazz Funk Connection. They share the same parking lot. So um, I'm doing those two shows. Uh, I have a mixtape coming out on September 13th called Essential to the City uh, that I'm going to be doing a release show and a birthday bash too. Um, I've already kind of got the venue locked in and everything. So I'm just kind of waiting to see along, like, like, you know, we were discussing the COVID outlines and everything. So I'm kind of still waiting to see where we're at in September. Um, but I got that coming up. We were supposed to do, or I was supposed to do a festival in Texas um, at Crystal Beach uh the walk for walk for cannabis i think was what it was um yeah. down in texas and uh they're not going to be able to do do it because of the texas laws right now um for that festival but uh they are doing an online festival so i'll be recording a live show and uh sending it to them for that so that they can do that uh let me see what else do i got coming up um i got another music video getting ready to drop uh busy motherfucker yeah you know i, I try to stay busy i've been shooting <laughs> I shoot music videos and stuff too i just knocked out one of them today so i've been busy but um really uh no he didn't in the interview where's the pause button he just picked up a raiders cup i'm out i don't have to be a part of that like twice already boo twice already. yeah but i told you all i seen was right. rob i ain't seen you you just popped up on my screen with a raiders cup now i feel disrespected right. <laughs> like, big time i'm like whoa because i didn't even see that I'm over here adjusting uh, shit on my side, and I just man, I, I looked up. Man. I'm just talking crap, but uh, that's really it right now, man. Um, Rob Dog, what do you got coming up, bro? Uh, well, shit. You know, honestly, the the biggest thing that we're working on on this end is, is uh, you know, Native and, and Sav are a part of is the uh, 303 Connection, oh. which is a uh, collaboration album that uh, that you know that we're putting together here in Colorado. Um, Basically, the concept behind it uh, really started with uh, beats that my, my brother and I produced together, um, you know, and, and and honestly, it started out as, as like a seven EP idea that snowballed into this gigantic album that, you know, a lot of different artists wanted to um, be a part of, uh, you know, and, and, and in, the, in that regard, I'm, I'm really blessed and humbled because the talent that we were able to snag for this project is just phenomenal. It's good. Um, you know, a lot of big names here in, in Colorado, a lot of names that have been doing um, a lot of big things as of recent, um, you know, and, and the things that um, they've got going on are only um, helping the Colorado music scene here, you know, expand. So just to kind of be in that, in that realm uh, and being able to do this comp compilation album um, and producing all the beats and reaching out to the artists and have them, re you know, do what they do with the, with the instrumentals and creating all these different uh, songs. It, it's been a, a wonderful thing to watch grow. Um, right now we're looking at uh, five official singles, which you can catch on YouTube if you look up DJ Rob Dog uh, with two Gs. Um, you can also expect to see not only those five, but at least uh, 18 other tracks on this compilation album. Um, you know, and it's it's got my fellas here from Denverago. Uh, it's got Tina on it, uh, our other fellow uh, Cypher Tank member. 
And we got, you know, some pretty big names here from Colorado. We got Shai Rico, uh, Riaga. Um, you know, we, we, even, we even reached out and were able to get uh, strange music artist uh, Darian Saffron on the, on the album as well. Um, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of tracks, a lot of busyness that we've had going on. Um, the only issue is, is with COVID, you know, it's kind of, kind of pushed back a lot of our, uh, deadlines and things for many artists, not just myself, you know, it's, it's been hard to find studios that are accommodating, you know, a certain amount of people or what have you, or even, you know, a lot of pockets have been messed with, with the COVID. So being able to right. afford the studio time, uh, the overall pro the, the overall project is is uh, being pushed back more towards like October November of this year, but that's kind of where we're at is working on that and trying to kind of button up those last few tracks and getting all these uh, last few submissions and, and things put together. Man, once you guys hear it, I hope you guys love it as much as I do because it's been making fun. And, you know, it's been fun making this uh, entire project so. Hey. Oh, yeah. What's that going on, Seth? Shit, to be honest, I got a whole lot of hairs to cut off. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna lie. I'm I'm finna I'm finna I'm finna I'm finna shake shit up. I've been I've been being quiet, I've been being nice, I've been being I'm finna start a whole bunch of shit. Fair warning. I figure it's only it's I figure it's only right to to to, to uh to announce it now, but but yeah, I'm I'm finna start. I'm finna just start dropping shit like fuck it. Uh, I mean just on like just on like some promo shit. Not even like uh, a full a full mixtape project. Cause I got a lot of shit lined up to do. But just with everything going on, just to keep attention, just to keep everybody's attention. Like even though shit's gone, we still working, we still cooking. I'm just gonna be dropping shit, getting people's attention, talking my shit. You know, doing what I do. Um, other than that. I'm just lining up these, like you said, finishing getting these last tracks that we got to do finished up. And I got features lined up. I got a lot of artists that are waiting on me to um, return their feature submissions. But I got a few things to take care of first, and then I can start knocking those things out. But, yeah, I got a lot of shit coming. I'm going to be hitting people left and right, applying pressure. Okay. We got anything else you guys want to cover? Uh, go, go watch that shut the competition down and share it and fucking look up that rock the mic and share it as much as fucking possible. Yo, that Yo you guys know, and, <laughs> and if you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest that you do the rock the mic video featuring these two fellas here on my screen, um, happens to actually feature myself and my son in it. And so yeah. it's a okay. very, very cool Yo. video. So I highly suggest that if you have the opportunity to go check that out, Rock the Mic by, uh, well, Na Native King and Sadmatic. It's under Denverago, though, man. It's, it's, actually, it's actually under Denverago. It's, it's actually okay. the first official track under the Denverago Collective. Right. So I, wasn't, I wasn't sure if that's what you had put up yet. So I didn't want to yeah. shout out. I didn't want to <laughs> shout out. And I ended that, up doing they, it. Even that part was actually a last minute installment because originally it was it was it was like that originally, like how how set the competition down was Savmatic featuring Native King, but yep. um Rock the Mic was originally gonna be the same thing. But by the time we had got ready to do the video, we had made the group official. So we're like we might as well just have this our first official track as yeah. a group together. Oh, that's a banger, bro. For the first, if that's the introduction to Denver Rago, it's it's amazing. Y'all gotta go check that video out. We killed that. Hey, it's I, I, good I, I, I had fun shooting that video. Like I, I, I gotta say, like I had a lot of fun shooting that video. Like, that was fun. I did too, man. The, the comedy, <laughs> the comedy aspect of the video, man, is just so pure. You know yeah. what I mean? Like with us robbing, you know, Rob Dog's son for the title. Like you know what I mean? And then like me not knowing where the title came from, but like being so excited to show everybody we got the title. Like, yeah. Come to find out, his dad like is finna beat us up over the title. Like sadly, yeah. we hanging. 
I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't, we got the bloopers. I don't, I don't, I don't took, I don't took little man. Look, I don't took little man's belt. Look, <laughs> I don't took little man's belt and bring it back to headquarters. Like they don't know where it come from. We parading this belt around. They don't know where this shit came from. You know, okay. find it. Like I even took it from a little kid. His dad tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, had, you know, I had a great time, man, shooting the video, yeah. man. The whole, the whole, everything was awesome, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm glad you guys hey, came on. Nice touch uh, real quick, though. Nice nice touch on the, the blooper at the end. Like, that was, that was another last-minute test I, I felt was – I felt that was special because it was like – that caught me off guard. I was watching the video. My first time watching the whole video – I said, oh, shit, he got the bloopers at the end of it. And, like, I remember being a kid watching videos and seeing certain videos that have bloopers. Like, there are certain videos that have bloopers or so when they making videos. I was like, damn, I want to do that one day. You know what I mean? So to actually see it actually happen and come through, I, I was like, that was dope. That was an epic moment. Yeah. 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 You, you can't. That's, that's. Oh, that's my train of thought. I ain't going to lie on that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Okay, yeah, no, definitely. Like I got lost in that show. I was like, yeah, because like you go back and you and you watch all the bloopers. Like that's almost like with like Marvel movies now, where you have to wait to see the extra stuff. Like you waited right. to see those fucking bloopers. You know, right? I always had to. I love. You want to start doing that? I want to start doing that with more of our videos, man. Yeah, it's, I mean, just like just best, like man. the rest hour movies. Like, look at the rest. Like, the at the end of the rest hour movies, that's sort of bloopers. That should be funny to the motherfucker, right? <laughs> so I, I just think that's dope though to have that concept every now and then. Sort of bloopers, like <laughs> so right. we fucked up at. <laughs> right. That's fucking great, and nobody else is doing it either. No, not well, really. Actually, the baby, the baby actually just dropped the uh when he did the rocks when he dropped the rock star video he actually showed the bloopers of behind the scenes of making that video, which was yeah. which I still I still feel like they copied us but it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like <laughs> bloopers, bloopers been around for a minute, you know, and 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 in reality, we we're gonna end up copying no matter what you do these days. I mean, yeah, no matter what, every, know, everything like, like everything. You know, you know who made me want to do the bloopers, bro. Snow the product. Watching some of Snow the products like videos over like last year. Her her behind the scenes dude are just crazy. Like, yeah, well, Snow Snow the product makes me want to do a lot of crazy things, but that's I don't not, think that's I, what I he was watching. I don't I think that's a lot of shit. I'm a major fan <laughs> of Snow the product, so you're right, Ray Ray. <laughs> Snow gonna have a white baby. Quit playing with me. <laughs> a mixed baby. Quit playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this what our career is gonna be based on what's our career is gonna be uh competing over celebrity bitches <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much i nobody tell my girl to you know, kill me ass snow y'all gonna lose you gonna lose two great artists and one one blow if i fuck with snow so let's just not <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, don't, I don't know. They, you know what they say? Some worth dying for now, but it ain't worth dying for. <laughs> but no, nah, I saw no. uh, it's all good and fun though. But uh, you know, no, nah, uh, shout out to her though. But, huh. but yeah, it's, it's cool to <laughs> get the idea from her though. But I know, like, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of ideas that get reused and recycled, and you know, it just. Just important of what you what you do to make it your own, you know, not necessarily copy and be nilly vanilla, but right. to actually make it your own, you know, make it unique, you know what I mean? Because yeah, you know, people people have been dunking in basketball forever, <laughs> but you know, every every now and then somebody gonna put a little uh, bedazzle on it and make it make it their own. You know what I'm saying? So right, it, it is what it is. It's just it's just you know, growth and development, pretty much. Thanks. Right, and despite all that, I think when it's when you, the time you choose to do it or to do that aspect of something, you know what I mean? That's not straight yeah. up. As you like said, you can't. There's not a lot of stuff you can do brand new, but sometimes it's that moment of time where it affects people, or it's seen, where or it just fits, you know, harmonically or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's when that's when it happens the best. That's when the best work comes, though, with the shit you didn't expect when it just happens organically like that. Yep. Um, right. Like us. Right. 
Yeah, like genuine. Like our whole our whole collective happened organically. Like every yeah. like from the from the way we all met to the way we do music together to the way we do our meetings, like everything. I was just, matter of fact, I was just talking about that in one of our uh, one of our meetings. I was just talking about that in the group chat. How how our everything is organic, it's unique. You know, like we actually come together like with a collective cause versus just you know we see each other when we see each other or. You know, never communicate. Nobody knows what he's doing. Like, you're like, oh, what? You talk to Wutu? No, I ain't talk to him in months. Like, I talk to this motherfucker native every day. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, we have a, you know, I don't talk to everybody every day, but, you know, we all talk to each other every day. You feel I what I'm saying? Everybody. Uh, often yeah. So it's like, you know, we have to, we have to keep that, keep that bond going, you know, on, on and off the stage, I guess. <clears throat> Absolutely. I think that's what makes you guys special in the, in the way you guys are working together is that it's organic and stuff. That's, I know that's something we try and do here. You know, like my co-host was a fan that was just watching. And right. then it yeah. kind of worked out to where, you know, like this is my good research. This is my guy that handles a bunch of stuff. It became organic, you know. Yeah. Like we ain't never bought a sub or nothing ever. You know what huh. I mean? Like we stay yeah. organic. We network, you know. Network a lot of shit. <laughs> right. Back. All right, gentlemen. I, I wanna I can bring you guys back on again. Like it's always a pleasure. Um yeah. I actually because the old radio station lost Rob Dog's uh interview I did with him because I wasn't doing it to YouTube at the time. It was no video. Yeah. So and they went out of business and so I lost that. So I'm glad to have you back on. Glad to have you back on for your first time. Native. Um, Love you, brother. I oh, you appreciate you having us on, man. Uh, most definitely. definitely. You guys keep feeling it up there, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We will do that. Most definitely, man. Appreciate the support, man. And shout out Absolutely. to you, man. And God bless y'all and everything y'all got going. We'll be All right. back. All right, guys. You take care. Thank you. We're going to shut it off. We are going. We're out. This was with Cypher, Ta Cypher Tank Records. I have Cottonmouth. I'm DJ Gonzo. <laughs> and this is the couch. <laughs>